on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, find all horizontal tangent lines to the function f of x equal to cotangent of x. Once you've done that, find where the slope of the tangent line is equal to 1 and where the slope of the tangent lines are equal to minus 1. So, for our first part, we're looking for horizontal tangent lines. So, a tangent line is going to be horizontal when its slope is equal to 0. And remember, we get the slope for a tangent line by using the derivative at the point that we're interested in. So, in this case, we're going to take the derivative of our cotangent. That's going to give me minus cosecant squared of x, and then I'm going to set that equal to 0. Cosecant of x, remember, is 1 over sine of x. So we're looking at the equation minus 1 over sine squared of x equal to 0. If we clear out the denominators, we're looking at minus 1 equal to 0. So this never happens. So the answer is going to be we'll never have a horizontal tangent line to the graph of cotangent of x. If I go to the graph, what do we see? Well, that certainly makes sense because you'll notice all of our tangent lines are going like this. So we would need something like this to answer our question, but if we're always like this, we're never getting to here. Let's try the second part. How about where the slope of the tangent line is equal to 1? So now we're trying to solve minus 1 over sine squared of x equal to 1. Clear the denominator, that gives me sine squared of x equal to minus 1. If I take the square of anything, I'm going to get either 0 or a positive number. So again, we're never going to have this happening. Pictorially, if I have a slope equal to 1, that's going to be a line that looks like this. That never happens on our graph, so our answer checks out with our picture. Finally, how about equal to minus 1? Well, in this case, we can get somewhere. I'll have minus 1 over sine squared of x equal to minus 1. That shapes up to be sine squared of x equal to 1. And then if I take the square root of both sides, we're going to get sine of x equal to plus or minus 1. Remember, we have to throw in the solution with a negative number also. Okay, well, sine equal to plus or minus 1, what's the sine? That's the y value in the unit circle. So if I'm at minus 1 or 1 as a y value, that means I'm either at the top of the circle or the bottom of the circle. So in our interval, we're looking at pi halves or 3 pi halves. If I take a look at our picture at pi halves and 3 pi halves, that's where we're hitting the x-axis. And you note that looks like perfectly good candidates for slope being equal to minus 1, since minus 1 goes like this.